Nevada's number one in the nation and Reno is number two in the nation in this category. Hi, this is Clint with the Stitzer Real Estate Group. And before we begin, I wanna call your attention to two links on my blog. First, if you're interested in buying or investing in real property, click on the search now link. If you're interested in selling real property, please click on the property valuation link. So let's get right to it. What was Nevada number one in the nation and Reno number two in the nation in? Price appreciation for the year of 2015. The Federal Housing Finance Agency, the FHFA, just released their statistics for the fourth quarter of 2015. And the numbers are in Nevada and Reno are the big winners. Let's go right to it. As you can see here on a breakdown by state, which may be interesting. Oh, let's look at this one first, excuse me. Uh, by area, the mountain states were the big winners uh, with the Pacific states coming in second. If you wanna look at this more closely, please press pause. Uh, we're gonna move on. Now, if you wanna look at see how we compared to other states throughout the mountain and Western states, you can see that Nevada was number one at 12.7%. This is also really useful if you're looking to move into the state or move out of the state, you can see how we're performing relative to your current area or where you're going. Again, if you wanna analyze this further or talk about it, press pause give us a call. So let's get right to it on the substantially less exciting chart. And that is that Reno is number two in the entire nation for property appreciation and value um, over the year of 2015. We appreciated 15.31% with a quarterly growth of 1.59% and a five-year growth of 47%. Really exciting numbers. And it begs the question, Clint, are we in another bubble? And there's a lot of news articles out there about this. And my answer, my belief is no. I think that our growth now versus the growth in numbers we're seeing in 2005 is that now it's backed by fundamental job growth and population growth. The challenge that's coming with, with this growth in population and this appreciation in pricing is the prices versus the median income. And that sub $400,000 price range, it's moving very, very quickly. It is definitively a seller's market. And the question is to become, will our supply demand stay in balance such that people with the median income can buy in Reno and Sparks? And the answer right now is if we continue to grow at this rate, we won't. That's why we have builders and developers hurrying to build tons and tons of apartments, some condos, new home communities in the outlying areas of Reno, Sparks, Fernley, and Dayton. Our main problem right now is inventory. Uh, an inventory that's priced correctly for a majority of our buyers. Also relative to 2005, it's not mass euphoria across all price bands. $600,000 and a million dollars and up are still acting in accordance with the economics in each one of those price bands. And we don't see people buying with really crazy creative loans. People are buying with 30 year fixed interest rate loans, which are underwritten very conservatively. So no, I don't think we're in a bubble, but we do have inventory challenges and you can read about that in a lot of different areas. What I found to be most interesting about this statistic was that the fourth quarter only achieved 1.59% of our 15.3% growth. So it made me ask the question, are we in fact leveling off? Is it seasonality or is it leveling? So let's look at what happened on that period of December 31st, 2014. Well, at that point in time, Reno was number four with 13% appreciation in 2014, but only one quarter of 1% happening in the, uh, in the fourth quarter. So what does that lead me to believe? That it is seasonality. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Uh, the first quarter of 2015 appreciated 1.9%, but then the big quarters, the big selling quarters, which is closing homes between April and September, we saw an appreciation of 6% percent between that April and June period, and then another 4% between that June and September period. So the answer to that is, um, no, I don't think there's something to be majorly concerned about. We will see over the next two quarters, whether there's a tapering off in appreciation or whether it was just seasonality. Of course, when the new stats come out, I'll share them with you. For now, I hope that you found this information valuable. If you or anyone you know wants to have a conversation about how it impacts you, please feel free to give me a call. This is Clint Stitzer with the Stitzer Real Estate Group wishing you great success in all your real estate ventures.